It was a gift from my ex-husband right before he left me. Uh, he gave me a birthday present and this was it. Best thing he ever gave me, actually. I know that it was probably purchased in Philadelphia and it probably cost around $1,800. I received it in 2005. It's actually a color screen print by Warhol mm -hmm. from the first Campbell Soup series that he did in Ooh. 1968, which is a set of 10 different soup cans, all Campbell soup cans. Okay. And these are based on a 1962 painted series that he had done and first exhibited at Ferris Gallery in Los Angeles. Okay. Just as he was shifting from his career as an advertising artist in New York to more of a fine artist. Mm -hmm. And Warhol got on the map and became a famous artist through his appropriation of everyday images. Right. In this case, Campbell Soup. And he said that one of the reasons he chose Campbell's Soup early on is because as a kid growing up in Pittsburgh, okay. he was fed Campbell's Soup and ate Campbell's Soup all the time. Makes sense. So he made a, a set of 10 different subjects, 10 different soups in the first Campbell's Soup series, number okay. one in 1968. These were done in an edition of 250, each of the prints, and each of them are signed in ballpoint pen and ink. And numbered with a rubber ink stamp. Right. And you can see that on the back of this image because the mat is nicely cut <laughs> out. Somebody cut it out, right? <laughs> now he was very well known when these were made, and the reason why he made them in, in the late '60s, based on a painted series from the early '60s, mm -hmm. is that he could make multiple images of them. And using screen print, run off a lot. And 10 times 250, you have 2,500 prints to be sold from this series. Not so, bad. yeah, cashing in on his growing popularity. I found this one interesting too because up here on the accent above the E on consomme, you can see the pattern of the white screen. That's actually white ink on that, and you can oh see God. how oh, it's yeah, yeah. crisscrossing wow. with the red. Cool. These were printed in New York and published through Warhol's publishing outfit called Factory Editions. Mm. Even though he was well known at the time, a lot of people viewed these as, as they got prints and mm -hmm. sort of common images, not of great value. What did he sell them for originally? Originally a couple hundred dollars. A couple hundred dollars, yeah. yeah wow. Or the whole set for maybe a thousand dollars. A lot were put on the wall and from the late 60s on to today have lost their color, have been damaged. The surface of a screen print is very susceptible to scratching gotcha. and bends in the paper and breaks. Yours is in great shape. Really? Yes. On a scale of one right. to ten, ten being the best, right. you're, you're at about an eight and a half, maybe nine with well, this Well, and it's been on a wall. But you've kept, it, it, out, right you've kept it out of the sunlight. <laughs> right. Yeah, I did. I did. So what would you guess? What, what would you say is a, is a value? I, I am clueless because, I mean, I, and part of it is what you were explaining, like their original paintings, and then there's this series of prints and that series of prints. So I don't know where this fits in. Oh. I'm really clueless. I never heard of divorce gifts either. Is that I a, don't know. That's, a, that's a new thing for me. <laughs> it was a birthday gift right before, the, right before he left. Okay. I, don't, I think maybe we call it a guilt gift or a something. Guilt I don't gift. know. <laughs> I like that one. Go with that. Yeah. In this condition, great shape. I would put a replacement value of $50,000. Come on, <laughs> that's crazy. My goodness, I don't know, I, I, I'm speechless. I don't know what to say. The more common the soup, take tomato soup, right. that's a $75,000, $80,000 print because it's tomato soup. That's the that's iconic, the iconic right. soup.